what's up guys um calvin here so i'm here to share with you guys a little bit about um dcf case i was in a car accident that was it for me you know just a car accident um and i for i was unfortunate to get hooked with this company this dcf agency called children's home of society of florida it's been a nightmare the worst i don't have any drug charges i've passed all my drug tests um and they are making me do all these things. And it's like, they, they had me do an evaluation and I agreed to it. When I get to the evaluation, they paste it and copies another drug addict's information into my file. <clears throat> we called Fallon up to verify. And she says, that that's correct, that's the case. Then I explained to her, that's not, none of that is correct with me. And she says, oh no, there's something in there with drugs. Um, I've completed programs. I've sent her the information. She's lost it. I've literally, she's asked for a phone number twice and I scroll up in our text messages and I sent it to her already. I have screenshots of this. She's unprofessional. She loses um, information. She lies. She first said there was an overdose and my son was around this overdose. This guy died, shot up some shit and died. And my son was around him. She didn't even go up and check on him. None of the kids. God knows what she's doing. She's sitting here riding around in a government car, getting government gas, and she's doing whatever she wants with all that freedom and money. And this is the issue that we have with these agencies. We're giving them too much power and not enough consequences. They're ruining these kids' lives and making it worse. My son is suffering due to her. He is suffering, and I don't know what to do anymore. I've contacted my lawyer, told her I want to reopen the case. I'm also going to get a lawyer and sue um, sue her directly and Children's Home Society. I'm going to file a lawsuit um, for um, HIPAA, uh, falsifying medical records. Um, I already have a witness to that, even the own eval lady. She'll witness, she'll, uh, she'll literally back me up on all of it. Um, she told me to get a lawyer. She said the whole thing was very sketchy. Um, it's just been one thing after another. Um, she doesn't know anything. She thinks she knows where my son is. She thinks she knows his well-being. She literally does not do anything. She doesn't communicate with me. When she tells me to do something, I do it right away. When she told me to do the evaluation, I went and did it. Boom, boom. She didn't talk to me for the longest. She tells me to take a drug test. I've passed all my drug tests. Boom, boom. She doesn't communicate with me. Um, she's the definition of somebody that's not right for somebody working with children. We need to screen these people more seriously. These people need to care about children. These people need to know the children's value. These are our future. These kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna be out of society. And if we treat them and we act the way that we're acting, how she's acting, there's no hope for tomorrow. We have to be better and shame on her and shame on Nicole. Um, that's her boss. I reached out to Nicole and Nicole hasn't said anything. Nicole backed her up. So if Nicole doesn't take action, Nicole's just as guilty in my eyes. Um, yeah, I'm saving up all my checks and all my money because I will, um, I will be seeking legal, legal consequences to her. I'm not going to let all this slide anymore. I'm tired. I'm jumping through all these hoops. And nothing's getting done. It feels like I'm stuck. I am keep taking drug tests. I keep doing this. And there's no advancement. She's just quiet. Um, you know, enough's enough. I gave her a safe place to put my son with my father. And she chose not to. That side of the family, you know, has a lot of issues, a lot of problems. And look at what happened due to that fact. On my side of the family, we're all calm and good, calm, collected, and, you know, at least somewhat decent. Um, but it goes to show you that these people have poor judgment and we need to do a better job of screening them, especially if they're falsifying medical records and then agreeing and then they're lying to you and they're losing all your information and they're not helping you go forward in life. They're only making you go backwards. Don't if you're innocent, don't take any of their, their deals. Do not take any of their deals because their deals are not good. They're not meant for you to succeed. They're meant for you to stay stuck and spend more money. So whatever you do, do not. I regret taking the deal. I should have went to trial. I'm innocent. Um, all that happened with me, I was just in a car accident. There was no drugs, nothing like that. Blue zero. Uh, I accidentally looked back and crashed. I admit that. I took a safety class. I don't have my license. I'm paying the consequences for that. But I've never put my son in danger besides that or any kind of jeopardy. And that's my story. 
Um, yeah, if you guys want Google Children's Home Society for Florida and Lakeland, drop them a, a little review. Let them know how we feel. We need to do better. We got to stand up. We can't let these government officials think they can do whatever they want. We have to start standing up. 